I want to stay more consistent, you know, is just everything, you know, health and personal, all that stuff, you know, aside. And, you know, if I'm, if I'm health, healthy and I'm able to, like, train and, and, and prepare the way I should, yeah, I want to, I want to stay more active. It's, uh, you know, this game is just very, uh, what's the word, consuming? Or, you know, like when you got a girl, like, your girl takes up a big portion of your, of your life. That's how this game is. It's like a wife, man. It's like when you're in it, you got to focus all on it or not be in it, you know. So as long as I'm able to do that, be married to it and stuff, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to stay more active. What did you become a dad? I became a dad, like, uh, June 29th. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. How, how was life as, as a father and how has that changed you? Uh, life as a father is awesome, man. Like, like at first, like, when my girl told me, I was, like, three or four wait, weeks away from fighting Charles Oliveira, and I came home, and my girl was like, I'm like, what? what's up with you, you know? And she was just, like, all weird stuff, and I was like, like, is everything okay? Like, somebody die or something? She's like, I'm pregnant, and I was just like, like, well, what do you mean? And I, at first, I said, I was, like, kind of reacting, and I was like, wait, hold up. I was like, this is one of those moments in life, you know, where you got to be like, it's going to be all right. Like, babe, yes, we're going to get through this, but I, I was you know, I was scared, and uh, since, since I had Mac, my son, you know, I've kind of, I've kind of gotten like adjusted to where like I can still fight and have a son. Because I, I honestly was never planning on having a kid until I was done fighting. What's it like being back at Alliance? It's awesome, awesome. Uh, you know, I got Jeremy Stevens. He's fighting in a couple of weeks. He was like main training partner for me. Me and Eric were were jamming. Eric Del Fiero, all camp man, just putting in work, uh, grinding. Just, uh, just really, just really living it, man. And uh, the team's awesome. San Diego's awesome as always. So, going into this fight, I really felt like best shape. Um, you know, Alliance is where I need to be, and uh, that's where I'm at now. So it's, it's awesome. I'm a fighter, you know. Like, I, in my mind, if I have to, I'll, I'll train by myself and fight. Like that, that's just like as a fighter, that's what you do. But sometimes I'm so stubborn. I try to do it on my own that like I just cut myself short so I do really believe this is where I need to be training with with Eric and Alliance and guys like Jeremy Stevens and stuff like that and uh honestly it, it was kind of crazy how it all happened like it wasn't anything planned that how I got back with Alliance like I was at Jeremy Stevens wedding like what was that two three three four months ago or something and uh we, he was getting married doing that and we were just all you know getting after a drink and uh and, and I haven't talked to Eric in like two years at this time, you know? We were drinking, we just ran into each other. And uh, we we're just like, hey, you know, how was everything? Cool, cool. And uh, one thing led to another and I was just like, hey man, like, you know, we kind of just had out, had a good talk. Um, and I and he was just like, you know, like, dude, you're more than welcome. And I was like, bro, I'm fighting uh, Rick Glenn in like nine weeks or something at the time was, was the word. And I was like, you got time for me? And he was like, yeah, let, let's get it. And I flew out there like the next week and we just, I'll start training and, and getting it, man. Like I said, I, I've been grinding up to this. Jeremy came out, out with me for this fight. I'm going to uh, St. Louis in a couple of weeks for him. So this is what we do. This is, this is what we do. That's it.